Welcome to this week's episode. I'm Paula Williams. I'm John Williams. And we are ABCI, and ABCI's mission is... To help all you ladies and gents out there in the aviation sector sell more of your products and services. Absolutely. So, um, like most businesses, we get really involved in our clients and things going on and all kinds of stuff. And we don't spend a lot of time on introspection, <laughs> which is, you know, not exactly true. We actually try to be introspective at least for five minutes every Monday uh, when we do our weekly meetings. Uh, and one thing that we discovered was that uh, we really haven't done much focus on our basic fundamentals as a business, at least in our podcast. Um, we do it all the time with our clients, but we haven't updated what's out there um, mm. about the fundamentals of what we do in a very long time. True. So we decided to do a short series of podcast episodes um, about the fundamentals, and it's just kind of a back to the basics. Here's what we do, and here's why we do it, right? Okay. Okay. So, all right. So this week we're talking about tools, templates, checklists, and courses. Uh it used to be that when you hired a marketing firm, right, uh, it would be just like the Mad Men episodes. I no, I've never hired a marketing firm. <laughs> well, no, but you've seen Mad Men. Yes, I have. Okay, close enough. <laughs> and you took a course in college, right? Oh, yeah, but that was... That was... <sighs> a million years ago. Well, not that, but mm -hmm. uh, marketing in business school... Unless you're working for Coke or Pepsi or somebody like that, it has no bearing on what really goes on. I mean, some of this, you know, split testing, if you can afford that, that's great. But they do thousands, they do millions of dollars worth of testing. Right. And we can't afford that. And I don't believe you can either. Right. Um, most of the companies that we work with in the aviation industry um, have surprisingly small margins and surprisingly small budgets, um, you know, because the cost of labor has gone up, the cost of compliance, the cost of insurance, the cost of everything. Um, so the more marketing you can do yourself, it has two advantages. One, it preserves your resources mm -hmm. uh, to spend on the things that you need the most. And the second thing is it makes your marketing more authentic if it is actually coming from in-house. And if you do it right, it's, uh, what's the term they use? It's green, it's perennial, you can reuse it. Evergreen, exactly. <laughs> so uh, a lot of the tools, templates, checklists, and courses that we cre we have created were uh, derived from our practice, mm -hmm. where we were helping people do things over and over and over again. And we realized, you know what? People can do this on their own. They don't have to pay us for some of this stuff, they can just use our templates, checklists, courses, and things like that. We can include those in our marketing lab and make that a lot more cost effective. Yep. Right. So um, check out our tools, templates, checklists, and courses. And uh, if you're already in our marketing lab, that's fantastic. They're already available to you. If you're not in our marketing lab, you should be. That's right. I was <laughs> going to say that. Right. Okay. See you next week. See you next week. I think, uh, you know, what we bring to the table is a lot of experience with a lot of different types of aviation industry clients. So um, that is how we've evolved our business model, and uh, this is the array of what it includes, right? That's true. Okay.